Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea. Yes, you may notice something new. I cut my hair. I cut almost nine inches off my hair. I love it. I just wanted a change and I figured I'm only young once so why not try something new and I love it so much. I've never had my hair this short and whenever you have curly hair if you have curly hair, you know, but it gets so heavy and so thick that I was like, I can't do this anymore, especially for clinical. I mean, it's gonna be a little bit hard to put my hair up for clinical, but for clinical, it was so hard to put my hair up in a bun because you have to have it like pulled back and everything, and it was taking so long for me to do that. So I just figured I'd cut it off. I just wanted to say that's the only thing that really changed in the past week and the question of the day my question of the day will be have you ever done something like a very big change in your life or you want to do a big change in your life and if so what's stopping you because life is too short to not to make those changes in your life and you should definitely do it if you're thinking about changing something in your life or adding something that will implement a change because then you'll just be going around with the what ifs. Oh, what if I did that? Or what if the outcome was different? That was definitely a very big change in my life because cutting your hair, of course, is a big change, but hair will always grow back. But now we'll dive right into the video. As you can tell, it is a healthy grocery store haul. As you can see, I got a lot of groceries and I can't wait to share with you what I got. Very healthy things, especially if you're looking to be plant-based because I've definitely gone plant-based. I love being plant-based. I didn't realize how much plant-based things that I actually consume on a day-to-day -day basis just because if you're new to my channel and you don't know, I have celiac disease so I have to be gluten-free and I also have a dairy allergy so I also am dairy-free as well so I do have a lot of plant-based things in my diet that I didn't realize by default but I've just kind of been wanting to eat a lot more vegetables and incorporate that back into my diet because I really don't eat a lot of vegetables. So I got a lot of new things to try for the first time. So the first thing I got, it's not a vegetable, but these Birch Benders Paleo Waffles. You guys, I love these so much. I actually have the, the waffle mix where you just like add water and an egg to it and whatever else you like, but I saw these in the frozen section and i couldn't wait to try this this one is a paleo one they have a buttermilk one and also another one as well but you have to be careful if you can't have dairy you will get the paleo one because this one doesn't have any dairy in it i'm excited because i just take them out of the freezer and heat them up and then the next thing i got now diving into the vegetables i got this hillary savory mushroom whole grain medley and this is plant-based it's gluten-free soy-free corn-free and nut-free and this one has grains white beans mushrooms sun-dried tomatoes and all you do is you heat it up in the microwave or you can even pan fry it and it's a great way to get your vegetables in and you can have like chicken on the side or something and this would be a perfect side for that or even just eat it by itself with some rice i feel like this is going to be so good and then the next hillary's thing that i got was this organic fresh greek whole grain medley and they have garbanzo beans leafy greens onion savory herbs and lemon and it says opa on it because it's a greek one but i thought this one is going to be really good and it's perfect if you just want to heat this up really fast if you're on a time crunch and just add sauces to it as well to spice it up a little bit but i thought this was perfect and then the next thing that i got was this cuban beans and rice it's vegan and gluten free and it comes with two microwavable pouches and this is a perfect way to get your vegetables in and i bet this is going to be amazing and all you do is pop in the microwave or you can put it on the stove top and have chicken or whatever you like with this as well and i feel like this is perfect especially if you are trying to get a little bit more healthier in your diet and also i didn't mention that i got all these from sprouts so if you have a sprouts near you you can probably find all this so the next thing i got i'm really excited about this was this rice cauliflower topped with seasoning and it's cilantro lime flavored 
I love Chipotle. I'm literally always at Chipotle because it is a gluten-free restaurant. So I'm able to go there and I'm really excited about this because this is another good way to get your vegetables in and taste good, of course. And it's like you're eating rice, but it's cauliflower instead. I also got just the regular rice cauliflower without the cilantro. And literally all you do is pop these in the microwave and you're good to go. It is so easy just to heat up your vegetables. Sometimes like I'm kind of sick of eating rice, then this is a perfect alternative. And then moving right along, this video so i got this dairy-free parmesan it's a shredded cheese alternative and of course it's plant-based by follow your heart i've heard that it was really good it's a dairy alternative and of course plant-based so it's very healthy as well and if you're vegan then this is perfect for you and then you guys these are my favorite snacks lately it's kind of like a mix on cheese it's but gluten-free and plant-based of course these are vegan cheddar snacks and they're called plant snacks and you guys these are amazing i can literally eat the whole bag but i don't eat the whole bag obviously it's from cassava root flour and they're really healthy i love these it's my take on cheese it's and they're really good with my dairy-free cheese as well or i dip these in hummus or just eat it by itself these are perfect and you should definitely try it sorry in advance because you're gonna get addicted and then i also have these lesser evil paleo puffs these are the honey roasted flavor these are also amazing i did in my last gluten-free video i had the lesser evil jalapeno popcorn and i also like the cheddar one as well you should definitely try it everything from lesser evil is literally amazing and very addicting you can eat this whole bag but i like to eat these by itself or with peanut butter or almond butter it's really good if you just dip it in and i suggest you eat it that way as well but these are like the consistency of like cheetah puffs almost but their website lesser evil sells these and you can also find them on amazon and the next snack that i have are these are these coconut flour tortilla chips by the brand the real coconut and these are so good they're just the himalayan salt they're organic gluten-free vegan and paleo friendly you should definitely try these these are amazing with hummus or even like salsa i got these and they're very addicting i know i say that a lot but you can literally eat the whole bag especially if you're eating it with hummus or something but they're even delicious by itself or even with a sandwich instead of eating like really unhealthy chips these are a great alternative for that then moving along with this video this this part will be like the sweets i'm really excited about this because who doesn't like sweet stuff but also healthy sweet stuff so the first thing i have is this really good lemon tart by hail mary this was literally so good it is very small and it just comes in one tart they also have little tiny mini tarts as well in different flavors but i love lemon and it's really hard to find like a lot of gluten-free things that are lemon so this one's amazing it is a small tart but don't let that fool you because it was literally so filling. I was full for the rest of the night after eating this. I was really surprised by how full I was from just a small tart. But their tarts are vegan, kosher, and gluten-free. So if you can't have dairy or you're gluten-free or even just want to try something new, you can definitely indulge in this because it is literally so good. And I'm excited to try the different flavors that they offer. So the next thing that a lot of gluten-free or vegan people have been talking about is this brand, the Smart Sweets. I tried the ones that look like Swedish Fish, so the berry one, and those were so good. You can eat the whole bag, so you don't have to worry about conserving anything because the whole bag just has 3 grams of sugar. So it's a definitely healthy way to eat your candy just because it has their plant-based. They're high in fiber, free from sweeteners. It's peanut and tree nut friendly and no artificial colors and naturally flavored by the juice, by fruit. And these are the sour ones. I wanna try these just because I love sour things. But if you see the sweetest fish version of them, you should definitely get it because they're very addicting. Definitely try this brand out. And the next thing I have are these very, very sweet cinnamon donut holes. I don't know how to pronounce the brand, but they're gluten-free and these are literally delicious and I'm so happy to find a donut brand because there are not a lot of donut gluten-free ones that taste 
really good but if you have any recommendations definitely put some in the comments love to try new brands out and this one is really good it is like i said the cinnamon and sugar one they have different flavors as well but this one seems to be my favorite one it says that it's enjoyed microwaved if you want them warm but i also like them cold because they taste really good cold surprisingly i mean it doesn't have that fluffy donut consistency it has more of a cake donut consistency so if you like cake donuts then you would love this then the next thing i got i'm always down for a good granola and my boyfriend told me to try these bare naked granola bites this is a peanut butter flavor and honey these are amazing they have dark roasted peanut butter and pumpkin seeds in it and they're gluten free and it don't have any dairy so this will be perfect for whenever i just want to grab a couple granola bites for the morning instead of my breakfast bar or I can put this on top of my coconut milk yogurt. I feel like this would be really good in there as well. But the next thing are these amazing rice cakes, but they're just not any rice cakes. They are flavored ones. One's a strawberry cheesecake, one's a lemon poppy seed, and one's a dark chocolate cherry bliss. These are literally so good. They also have a chocolate one as well and that one's also delicious. It comes with two little rice cakes in there. My favorite, I don't really think I have a favorite because they're all so good. But I'll open this one so that you'll be able to see. And it just comes with two rice cakes. So these are definitely very filling and a very flavorful way to get in your rice cakes. If you like rice cakes or if you're tired of eating like the same rice cakes. But I like how it's like a frosted rice cake and... They're very healthy as well. Again, I got everything in this video from Sprouts. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys like all the snacks and I put you on to some as well. I've definitely been very plant-based and I've been very healthy with my diet and I've been very happy with doing so. Because I definitely was not getting enough vegetables and don't really eat a lot of meat anyway. I just eat turkey and chicken and fish. I don't eat red meat or pork. I just don't really like eating that, but that's just my preference. I hope you guys like this video and thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. And I just wanted to shout out all my followers. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I couldn't do it without you guys. It means so much that everybody loves watching my videos. But also like this video and follow me on social media. It's just Andrea Duham. I would love to have you there as well. And thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.